Canary Capital Productions. This is David. How can we make your day magical? <laughs> Imagine that. By the way, that was opportunity calling. Here's David, your boy, showing up to a last minute event. That's right. It was a wedding. It was during the weekday. And I thought it was really cool because... You know, any event during the weekday for me is always nice because traffic is good. There's a certain vibe to weekday events versus weekend events. And so here I am, you know, unloading my brand new beautiful Mr. Professor booth and I'm assembling it. But before I jump the gun, I do want to show you that there was a little bit of uh, problems to solve. And quite honestly, when it comes to collaborating, that's something that I like doing and you should too. Because you're going to need a team eventually as you grow your photo booth rental business. So ideally, here, let me show you the video. So this wedding was last minute. And the groom and the bride wanted to put the booth right out there. But as you guys can see, it's going to be a very cold night. Which means we're not going to get a lot of participants and it might start drizzling down. And so the space is limited in the inside. I'll show you guys the inside right now. So there's gonna be catering on going over there. There's gonna be food over there. Uh, the groom and bride will be chilling right over there. So as you guys can see, it's very tight. There's not a lot of space where we can place it. So my thoughts were, were maybe moving it. And as you guys can see, this, this kind of goes down. And so the backdrop is eight feet tall, so it's gonna press up against this. So one thing is we can place it right here and this will be okay. But if the weather was really nice, it would have been ideal if we could have placed the booth right out here. Cause imagine guys walking in, right? Like a backdrop and then the booth just going snapping away. Dude, this would have been beautiful. So as you guys can see, after talking to Clarissa, the beautiful bride, and Aaron, the handsome groom, we collaborated. So Clarissa said, David, let's go ahead. And because and, and, my idea to her was this, let's not use the backdrop and let's just use this natural backdrop with the arches and the lights and then the, cement, the, the, the symmetry is beautiful. And she agreed. So we didn't use the backdrop she requested because we found out that there was magic outside and it really opened up the space. You guys can see from the video, right? And then um, Aaron, you know, he, he, uh, he told the guy to remove one of the, one of the um, I think it's like a piece of tarp that you remove. And so it, it, it really just brought everything to life. So as you guys can see that when you collaborate, amazing things happen, truly. Now look at these folks right here having a good old time. In fact, some of these guys right here were a little tipsy. Plus, it did drizzle just a little bit. It rained just a tad bit. But the cool part is that because we're under a massive dense tree, and on top of that, we had a small roof, the raindrops barely touched some of the items. And what's super cool, guys, is that my booth, my DSLR booth, had its umbrella going on. So it was, it was so cool how that umbrella served its purpose in many different ways. I thought that was amazing. Now, speaking of the photo booth, I want to show you guys something here. Let me show you. Um, for my setup, as you guys can see here in the video, I ended up using this right here. This is an Explore 600 R2. Now, these aren't cheap, okay? This is a Flashpoint, and these aren't cheap, but I love this specific one because it doesn't require any cables to go down. So as you guys can see from the setup, it's the cleanest, cleanest setup. There are absolutely no wires coming out, not one or two wires. Reason why is because this has a beautiful integrated battery right here. And here's what I love about this the very most. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but if you guys can see that there's no battery that, uh, the battery life didn't die at all, not even one bar, which means I could take this in numerous events, maybe like four different events, and then probably have to charge it after. So this is great, this is clean, and this is extremely powerful. It can be used outside for professional photography. Um, I don't recommend getting this if you guys are barely starting off and you guys are on a tight budget because this bad boy is a little over $500. Uh, but like I said, it's super clean and powerful. And the reason I wanted to show you that because just like the 360 booth, I want it to be the cleanest setup and also have a great production. If you guys want to buy 
Mr. Professional right here, this lovely booth, go on my website. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be very different from the purchases that you made in the past. I'll tell you why. I put myself in people's uh, shoes all the time. And so I imagine myself buying a photo booth. And so imagine buying a photo booth and you're excited because you have more an idea and you watch hundreds of different YouTube videos and you buy the photo booth and now you're thinking, okay, I have the photo booth. How do I assemble it the right way? Is there an easier way? 